Today we're going to install a PET water system. Before you start putting everything together, you need to empty the sink totally and put everything away and that way you have a lot of space for you to work. Before you continue with the installation, you need to take out, take it out the filters from the containers and put it away all the plastic paper, plastic paper everything that can uh, be inside of the containers before the installation. Continue. These are the RO system head. We are putting away everything uh, from this system and doing a pre installation before we continue with the filters. Now we had the two more more important pieces ready for the installation. They are all system head and the pre filters. They had to be together. So be careful when you start this installation. When you start twisting the filters to the RO system head you need to adjust them very well these pieces because uh, no adjusting these uh, pieces very well it can cause a water drip in the future to be sure that your filters are securely in place we strongly recommend to use the wrench there is including in the in the tooth kit. These are the needle valves installation. So we need to install these pieces together before we go in direct to the pie, the sink pie. We are installing together the male and the female water supply adapters. Be sure that you use the white tape that is included in the tools. This avoid water leak leaking in the future. Okay, now it looks like um, the figure. What we have here is the faucet. This is a small and actually very cute faucet. Um, so what we're going to do now is mounting the, this faucet. And uh, before you start mounting this faucet, you need to be sure that you have a hole a hold in next to the main faucet in your sink if you don't have it you have to, to drill in one hole um, very carefully but if you already have like i have it here in my case i am using the the one day i used to uh, put the salt so i got to use this hole for me and so what I'm getting ready here is the tool and I am tying and I have all the tools together so um, the first thing that you gotta do is to put the black location washer so and then you lock washer and then you're going to do the insert 
So lack nap is made also you gotta put in and so you gotta use all these tools in, and start your installation. When I went uh, to adjusting the, the, the faucet to the contact tab, I noticed the hole was to uh, be, so I had to look for a lock washer uh, bigger to put in around in order for me to be able to put the compression nap. Okay, after I going around and looking in the house, a perfect dish that can support in the faucet to the sink. I found this one and it works very good for me because my husband say the faucet is solid. Okay, look at this. So this is the area where the cool water is going. So be sure there's the cool water, no? No, the hot water. So I already put this out from here because in that area we want to put this bow. Remember that we did before? So this is the one who going there. So this one, this part, this little coin. And this going to the main connection. Okay guys, and always remember that you have to put tape, this white tape that actually is including the kit and for security purposes, okay? And be sure that the wire that you're going to connect is the cool wire, okay? So my husband suggests to put everything first like an so, idea, like, lay it, lay it out, like set up, an and then I had the idea. So let me see. Right here, I am looking for the perfect place where to put the drain because the pines are a little wide, so I need to install in a place that is very well adjusted. And the perfect place here is this metal uh, pie. So I got to open the hole with the drill. Now we're going to connect the RO system to the cool water supply. This one is the red tubing. So those two are the, this two is important because it's going from the cool water to the RO system, so the B filtering. Now we are installing the tan ball bow. Uh, uh, always put tape before you start uh, putting the bow. In that way, you will not have a filtration water in the future. This 
yellow tubing connect the water from the stage filtering to the tank. So this one is very important because it's giving some part of the filtration water to the tank. Right here, I'm trying to look for the perfect place for this huge tank. And this black support is included, but it is not working for me, so I designed the pudding. Well, I finished to connect the yellow tubing to the tank. So now I come in here to connect the the this yellow uh, tubing to the G filtering and then I go to connect the Y uh, to the uh, the P filtering in the tap like the small manual say it's very clear and I like it so don't um, follow this manual and it will help you a lot to install it because it was a big hole and then I'm looking for uh, pieces to adjust them and finally coming good it's very solid so no no problem at all well, this is the moment of truth we got it. we're going to open the faucet and it's opening and you heard the sound the water is coming here to this so I closed it, I already opened this one so it, it will allow it will allow to get in into the tank and we get away to see what happens. So but everything is okay. It is wet here because when I uh, opened this ball the water it was still water in there so it filled but now no it's not filtered anymore so it looks solid it looks nice we are trying to open a little more this this thing and that will more water going to the more faster to the filter so everything is good so far so you have to uh, let it uh, purify because all this. Oh my God! Look at guys! Look at that! Mm -hmm. It's super dirty, like my husband was saying. It has to do like a few cleans. You have to. Uh, you have to. We have to let it fill. I'm gonna turn it off. You have to let it um, fill up uh, completely for two two hours, and then from there you. So we have to leave that overnight. Right now, this is how it looks. It looks murky. The first one looked pretty bad. This one, you know, looks pretty bad too. So you have to... <laughs> so just drain. Let it out. Guys, don't drink that first. The first water, please don't drink it. So okay. yeah, you have to completely flush it out. Yeah, so we're gonna throw in all the water that was there. And then uh, the tank will fill out from, with new water. And then probably we can drink that one. Mm -hmm. What we are doing is trying to test in here. And you see? This is the TV tester. Right now, it because it's, uh, it has 79 uh, parts per million of the salt uh, solids in the water. It has to wait that we have to flush it out. That's mm -hmm. why the water is still not totally Good. great to drink. You have to wait for it to flush out more.
So let me see what we do. Oh my God. Can you explain a little bit about that? Oh yes. This is um, actually not as bad, but it's pretty high. It's uh, approximately 200 uh, parts per million um, of contaminants that are in the water. Wow, that's, that's is, all the water is the contamination of the water? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to give you this clean uh, uh, paper. So for you to clean. And I clean. Let me see so. how much it reduced to. Now I'll turn it back on again. Wow, look at the difference. Now it is reading and look at the difference. You see? Out of 195 was the other one? 195, 200 almost. Look almost at the difference. 200 to 22. 22 parts per million. Parts per million. Wow. That is awesome. So the system definitely works. It's and getting rid of a really lot of it. contaminants like lead and arsenic you don't know what's in the probably the rust from the tube itself so yes this, look at the, the evidence is right here hey beautiful people if you like this video just subscribe to our channel for more videos like this